um, cork the bitch's ass. <laughs> It, it was a straight from uh, one of our fathers who was a farmer and he said that if something really works well, it works like, it fits just as good as a cork would into bitch's ass. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how he found that out. <laughs> He's sort of guy that tried everything. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have, like, Dan's Hero and For Yourself? And you turned it down, is that right? Well, the thing is, I, I moved to home to Iceland a few years ago, and I was gonna, gonna buy one, you know. I guess when most people hear the word island, they think like a, like a tropical thing with coconuts and parrots, but I guess this one wasn't really, it's up in the Arctic. Right. It's more like a black rock, really. And I was going to buy it for my hard earned money. And then the, the Prime Minister went, well, we, that he announced that for my hard work for, for Iceland, he wanted to give me it. And, and I'm not really good in accept. I sort of want to pay for me, myself. And then the guy was from the other party, political party. Mm. Uh, it was election coming up, you see. He decided to make a big thing out of it in the papers in Iceland that the prime minister and the pop star were rubbing noses and being all cliquey and yeah. stuff. It made it all a bit sort of funny. So I kind of backed out. I'll just buy it later. You know? <laughs> <laughs> 60 maybe? They've sort of forgotten me. Oh, you won't want to be on a big black rock when you're 60. It'd be lovely when oh, well, oh, think of your knees, woman. <laughs> <laughs> you won't want all that climbing. <laughs> That'd be a nightmare. I have an excellent sound system. Oh, what that? <laughs> Good pair of headphones, you can't go wrong. <laughs> and there was, a, there was a lighthouse on the island, I understood. Because I heard you say once in an interview that you'd like, you would, could imagine yourself living in a lighthouse on your own. Yeah. I've got this thing about lighthouses. I find yeah. them very charming, yeah. Put of course, they're very phallic. <laughs> well, You're pretty deep, aren't you? Well, I tried to. <laughs> I'm known for that in England. <laughs>